Fishing. This week on Fishing Canada, we'll be taking you to Pigeon Lake in the heart of the Kawarthas. Our attention will be focused on a fall musky trolling pattern that will have us fishing break lines adjacent to areas that still have a good green weed growth. We've got some great musky action to show you, so stay tuned. We'll be back in one minute. Yes, we're in for some good fishing in Canada. Welcome to Fishing Canada, folks. Guess what we're going to be fishing for today? That's what, the bait we're going to be using. Wooden plugs? Wooden plugs. You Is got that it. we're going to be fishing for? You got it. That's the bait we're going to be using for. Of course, we're going to be doing some musky fishing today. And to help us, we're, we're going to do something a little bit different. You've seen us fishing off of bass boats and, and aluminum fishing boats. Today, we thought we'd do something just a little bit different. A good friend of ours, Rick Lyons, invited us up to fish off of one of his houseboats. And we're going to give that a whirl today. The people standing beside me, uh, Rick Lyons, Jack Williamson, you've seen him on the show before, and uh, Steve Smart, and the other little character on the end there. <laughs> We're going to meet up with some friends of ours, Cecil Ray and Jerry Cherish. They've gone on further ahead. I'm going to meet up with them in about a half an hour to an hour. And we're going to be musky fishing like Angela was explaining. We're going to be using a couple of different techniques. We're going to be using some trolling techniques and some casting techniques. I think Cecil will be doing most of the casting out of his boat. Uh, he's still he's going to go out in his bass boat and fish mm -hmm. for him as well. So we'll be doing most of the trolling off of the houseboat, and he's going to try and cast some shorelines. And we'll see which one works best. I know we can catch fish off of a houseboat. I'm almost positive that we can. I know we can. Let's give it a whirl. You ready, guys? Let's hit the oh, road. Let's do it. <laughs> It was a chilly November morning on Pigeon Lake in the Quarthas, and the overcast conditions told us that it was a perfect day for the serious musky fishermen. After casting shoreline structure for the early part of the morning without any success, Cecil and Jerry decided to change tactics and join us in our trolling pattern. They caught up with us and we took the opportunity to discuss strategy with them. Yeah, what you want to do is get down at least minimum 12 to 15 feet. You know what this is from? I'll tell you what this is from. This is from fishing deep and hitting the bottom. So you're you working? I'm almost bumping right off the bottom. If you look at the lure, you can tell I'm working deep because I'm wearing all the paint right off that from smashing into the rocks. Oops, sorry about that. So the fish are in about 12 feet. I'd say they're down about 15 feet. But what a lot of them will do is. And these tight brakes, so the brakes will come out if it breaks at 12 feet or 15 feet. Sometimes you'll get the fish suspending at about 15 feet down off those brakes. And they can be a quarter of a mile out or they can be farther out. But in the fall, like now, when you look at the shoreline, because it's getting cold and the fish are starting to bunch up, or the wallies are starting to bunch up, the muskies are going to start moving shallow or holding those brakes tight. And they're, feeding on those wallies? and they're going to be feeding on those wallies. Now, if I was fishing this in the summertime, I might move way out and fish open water where they're suspended. Uh -huh. But for now we're going to be but, in, the, but this time you're just going to just act like a funnel. All those tight breaks are just going to suck every muskie in the lake onto those breaks. Cecil Ray has been a member of Muskies Canada since its inception. So we decided to pay close attention to what he said. And with our plugs hitting bottom, it wasn't long before we connected with a scrappy fall muskie. Last week I was fishing here and I got into a 25 pounder. Right off this point? Same place. Same, Same place. place. There's one. There's one now. Yep. Yep. Sorry. All right. Is it a good one, Ed? You gave it any ground out of it all. Well, it's almost like a log. <laughs> you got a lot of light out of you, guys. Yeah. yeah. Get these for that. Here, I'll get it for you. I got it. Oh, that's like deep sea fishing. That's got to be a tree. Could be a It's got to be a tree. <laughs> all right. Oh. You are gaining some ground on them, are you? Yeah, unless the boat's going backwards. No, I got the boat's going. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Get up here. Come on, break some water. Get a look at them. Oh, geez, somebody want to take over? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's on there. Here he goes. Good stuff. Is he gone? Yeah. Okay, let him have some line. Let him, oh. have let, let him play with Give it. Give me a break. Right there, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it. Give me a break. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it, isn't it? I just Are we moving or what? We're island now. 
Well, I'm getting practice up for those sharks we're gonna <laughs> Here. You getting any ground out of them at all? I don't know. Are we moving? No. <laughs> I hope it's not a tree, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, right there. It's a nice fish. It's a musky. Come on, hold it. Boy, you must have a There it goes. There it goes. You must have a lot of light out there. Oh, look at that. You got that hook set? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as big as I thought, but I'm you, you must have got them right out of the bottom. I feel like you what? Oh, we'll release them at the back there, Jack. I don't want to... Look at that. If we can release them. Yeah. He, might, he might be pretty tired. Here, Jack, give me that net. I'll take him from here. Oh, we don't want to still right in the back here? With the players? Instead of bringing them in? Yeah, it might yeah. be a good idea. Because we'll yeah. he looks pretty tired. Yeah. Look at that oh. fish. Here, I'll take the net oh, in your hand. I'll you. I wouldn't want to get one much bigger than that. I don't think I can handle them today. Look at that. That's a pretty good fish. Oops. Oops. It's okay, Jack. There he is. Boy, he's well hooked anyway. Is he ever? Whoa! Whoa, easy! He's not ready yet. <laughs> he's not that tired. He's not ready. Look at the way oh. he they tangle up on that line, huh? Look at him go. Come here. Come on, baby. Well, I think we're, he's gonna get off. Oh, he's he's still got that one? He spit the front hook anyway. Whoop. Is he in there? Jack, if you're gonna grab him, grab him behind the neck. He's gotta come in. Because he's, he's, he's so great. Uh, gill so cover real bad. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh boy. He really got this. I think he's on there pretty darn good, isn't he? I think so. I'll tell you what, that believer's made a believer out of me. <laughs> okay, so far we have against the gills. The only thing I'm worried about is the gill the gills themselves. Oh, I think you might get it, Jack. That little bit right down there. Actually, there we go. There we nice go. little fish. Where would that go? Oh, eight or nine. Eight or nine, nine maybe. Keeper fish, anyways, over yeah. 28 inches. Yeah. I think you'll make it. A little battle wound on him right there. He's fighting, is he? Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Look at something else. That's a nice fish. Okay. So we came for. Oh, oh. Well, uh, guys, I guess just, that's the first fish. We, right? just lost, first we just lost a quarter. Remember that little bet we had? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, but... That was a quarter each. Seeing as you brought it up. Okay, he's up, what, about a buck and a half? A buck 75? <laughs> I think so. Good. Let's All go right, back. put it here. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Although it was the first time we've tried trolling for muskie from a boat as large as this, it won't be our last. The rear deck area of the boat was large enough to accommodate four fishermen and a film crew, and even with that many lines off the back of the same boat, there were none of the foul-ups that we'd expected. And you know, when it got cold and miserable out there, there was that hot cup of coffee waiting inside for you. You know, it was just one of those fun trips all the way around. It sure was. And we had a lot of fun with the fishing that day, too. Besides boating and releasing the one muskie, we hooked into three others that we couldn't quite get in. But they gave us some exciting moments. While heading back to the dock, we also found Cecil and Jerry again, just in time to watch them boat a good-sized muskie. Is that a muskie? Well, I guess they can't hear us. Who's got it, uh, Cecil or Jerry? It's like Jerry. Jerry's got it. Yeah, Cecil's yeah, got the net. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, we right. should get the boat over there a little yeah, closer. Yeah, we get around the other side of them. They must have been casting that hump boat there. Yeah. Now, just that off looks, that red marker. That looks like a nice fish, too. Yeah, there it is, a muskie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, look at that. All right. Excellent. There you go, guys. Good, go. good catch, guys. All right. Good work. All right. Excellent. There you go, guys. Go. Good catch, All guys. right. Good work. Nice bit. Good. <laughs> I think that, that's what he's counting on. If you had such a good time, why don't we do it again tomorrow? Hey. You don't have to twist my arm. We're on? Guys, I'm you what, if that's the case, I'm leaving my bass boat at home and I'm coming I think you, yes, I think you, you just converted them. We'll be here Great. Let's do it again tomorrow. Well, why don't we? 
Stay tuned for more Fish in Canada. Welcome to day two of Fish in Canada on the houseboat. We've done a few things differently today. We're, I guess we're going deluxe today, aren't we? Yeah. We've got the rod holders, we've got all the toys. Reno and uh, Jerry weren't able to join us today, so there's, there'll be four of us fishing off the back of the boat. And I would have to say, guys, that uh, today is a better day than yesterday oh. as far as musky fishing goes. An overcast day like today, the fish should be up and active. And they should be. You'll notice Cecil is on the boat with us today. You'll remember he was out on his bass boat yesterday when we were filming because he wasn't quite convinced that you'd catch musky off the back of a houseboat. But I, noticed did, I couldn't you, believe you it. left the boat at home today. <laughs> oh, come on off there. Oh, there we go, it's off. Oh. Let, and let's check that line. Yep. You might have a nick in there. you go. Oh. Looks good, Jerry. It's all right. In addition to occasionally checking your line for nicks, sharpening your hooks regularly is a must when tangling with these toothy predators. Once your gear is ready, Finding the right pattern will greatly increase your odds of boating a fall muskie. Well, there's our shoreline on our right side here. What we're doing is we're fishing a shelf. It's a flat up to the shoreline. We're talking about eight, nine or eight feet. And we're, we got a drop off. Right now we're trying to stay on the contour of a 12 foot drop off. Hey, you got it. Oh, yeah. All right. Hey, 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 Right off the shelf, just like you That's said, right eh? Right <laughs> Remember? You want reverse? No, I got a fish. <laughs> Whoa! Yes. You know what that Whoa, is? Whoa! Right. right off that shelf. All right. right. Where the green Whoa, look at him go. Yep. The Somebody grab that other rod right over there. Okay! Come on, do a little dance for us. Do you want to have a look at this? Throw them on the platform there, see, so you can hold them on the platform, then we don't have to. What we want to try to do, Jack, here at this. Fingers. I got uh, some um, things in my box. Over there. some... We'll open that mouth right up. Yeah. I got a yeah. pair of these. These small fish, it's going to be difficult getting their mouth open. Yeah. <laughs> have a look at this mouth. Fish, what a set of dentures. Okay, okay, we got that one. Yeah. Certainly not like a bad jack. I guess no. we're going to lift that guy. Oops. Well, I think I'll just okay, slide him out the back here, Jack. I'll just release him back here. Nice fish. Yep. But did you notice that? We caught the one fish yesterday off that flat with the yep. green leaf work. Same, just as we're going to talk about a boom. These fish will indicate when they want to go. Well, he'll just start kicking, will he? He'll start right kicking. Right out the boom, back and forth to us. Jack, just slide. There, there he goes. Look. Happy again. All right. It's another good start, guys. Another Woo. good start. Hey. Whoa. Well, Jackie, right. baby. All right. Okay, that's what we came for. Boy, these bass fish were going to catch mustard, too. I don't believe it. <laughs> Look at that. Green weeds again. Yeah. As I was saying before I was really interrupted, if you want to call it that with a fish. Oh, they can interrupt me like that anytime. <laughs> we are fishing grape lines. Tip about a 12 foot drop off from shallow shelves. This is a combination of area where you'll find a lot of bait fish. In turn, your walleyes are related to the bait fish. Also, your muskie are related to the walleyes. What we're doing, if we can find green weed on these flats and these drop offs, your chances are a lot better of getting into some good fish. That's what we're looking for, cabbage weed. This is curly cabbage, by the way. This is some She's starting to die, though. What is that over there, guys? Is that a moose? It's a small moose, yeah. No, nope. see it? Might be a deer, I can't tell. Deer seeds over there, what, last week? Yeah. That could be a deer if you can't die, you know that? Yeah, I guess so. Got a white tail, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's a deer. Look at that guy. See him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at the tail on him. Yeah. Shows up pretty good, doesn't it, that tail? Like a target. 
That's one thing about fall fishing, though. You get to see uh, all kinds of wildlife up there. Yeah. Look at her blend right into the brush there. Yeah, just totally disappeared. Stay tuned for more Fish in Canada. Because of the size and action of conventional musky lures and the higher trolling speeds associated with musky fishing, the rod takes an unusual amount of strain. This is no place for lightweight rods, so make sure that your equipment is heavy enough to take the punishment. The action of your lure should be clearly visible on your rod tip. If your tip stops vibrating, it's usually an indication that your plug is fouled up. You can check this by gently pulling on your line to feel for proper action. Bring him on home. All right. What do you think this shoreline, Indian? She's I doing the trick. I love it. Whoa, I love baby. It. Yeah. Look at him go. Holy cow. I love this shoreline. There's my lure. That one line. Okay, let me move over. Where the hell am I? Let's get underneath. Come on up front. All right. Yeah, you're okay, Steve. I don't think, I can't tell if it's a real big fish or not. No, he's not that big, like but he was a, he's the only one that's really jumped out of the water, isn't he? How did we, why those fish are going to mind of their own? I think they wander all over. Who over. wants to net this baby for me? Oh, I got like, her. Jack, you got it? I still got my glue right here. You know, when they hit sometimes, they feel a lot bigger than they are. Yeah, no, yeah. You want me to put them in there? I think we release them right there, right? Yeah, try and release them right in the water. Without hurting them. Oh, look at the nice part. Whoa, 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 Oh, good work. Good work. Well, that's three. Oh, baby. I think we can Ooh, do that nice again, fishing. can we? I think we fell on the shoreline. Yeah, she taught. This is where I got that 51 inch. Two weeks ago. Right off here. We're back here. Running on the, uh, the north shore of Pigeon Lake, skirting a shelf um, in about 18 feet of water and we're cruising at approximately uh, 1,700 RPM. And that's, that's been our best speed all day for picking up muskie. That's got to be a nice fish, guys. That's got to be a nice fish, guys. It's okay. It's okay. Not bad. Look at that. All right. Here's how they come off, Dan. Remember, you've been losing them. This is really soft. You hook them up in the mouth here, no problem down here. Sometimes you get them right in the side here, and that's real soft flesh. But the hook will go through here and out here, and sometimes they'll pull right through. Really? That's how we lost that big Yo, you get a big fish that weighs 30 pounds. You got a little soft melt there, yeah. all that weight. Yeah. Look at the tongue. Now that is a nice fish, Jack. Nice fresh looking fish. Look at the nice yeah. How big would that be? Six, four, I don't know, 12 pounds or more. Oh, right? four, it's a wow. fish. more than 12. Okay. 12, 15. Nice, healthy looking fish. Let's see how she goes in the water. Whoa, there she goes. All, All right. right. Good work. Good okay, going, Jack. You guys. got All that. Right. Good work, guys. All, All right. right Jake. Excellent. Well, let's get back One more. Oh, baby. Oh, oh. I like this. One more hey, look time. at the time. On today's Conservation Corner, we're going to show you how to properly live release a muskie. Because trophy muskie fishing is one of the most popular types of fishing in any area in which they are found, these prize fighters are under constant fishing pressure. 
Here at Fishing Canada, we feel that it's important to give any muskie that you're not going to hang on your wall another chance to fight. Whenever possible, release muskie beside the boat in the water. If hooks are deeply embedded, just cut the hook off. Eventually, the fish's own acid will dissolve it. Always exercise caution when removing hooks from one of these freshwater barracudas. The needle-like teeth of a muskie and the sharp treble hooks make a potent recipe for disaster if you're not very careful. Most of all, be patient and don't rush in releasing your fish. After his fight to the boat, a muskie needs time to stabilize the large amount of lactic acid he has built up in his muscles. Just hold the fish upright in the water and gently pass water through his gills. He'll tell you when he's ready to go.